Hi, welcome back everyone. My name's Newman and today is repotting day. Hi, welcome back. Uh, first one, Mammalero grusoni. I'm starting to get buds now. We've got one. I don't know if you can see right there. Um, this one tends to get huge, so I'm going to give it some more space. I actually had to cram it right in this pot last year. I'm pretty sure it would appreciate something a bit bigger. hate to disturb it, but um, it's got to be done. You can use this pot for another plant. Okay, um, I think I found the one, here it is, this one's going to be for a Grusoni. I always have my cacti planted in really free draining mix. Really free draining. We're starting to get a, a root system back again, I see. Yeah. Good weather today. Nice and sunny. It's still pretty cold at night. It'll get down to about into the 30s, which is about you know zero or minus one. And during the day, it's getting warmer. So the best time to do it because if you disturb the roots, you're not really doing any damage because the new roots haven't started yet. And so right now is the best time to start up your repotting. I like to amend my soil with charcoal, river sand, and if they are uh, lime lovers, I'll put a bit of lime in. Being a mammalaria, I wouldn't mind a little bit of lime. Put a bit of lime in for it. And as I go, I'm making a mess. Like, I used to like uh, propagating them too. As I got a bit older, I, I met a friend when I was in my in my twenties, and uh, he came from another part of where I grew up in New Zealand, and uh, he had his own business. See, that really got me hooked into cacti. This business is pretty good, you know. He sold a lot of different kinds of cacti and succulents, and the cacti kind of got me hooked. I remember my first time going in there. So that place is amazing. He had this uh, knack or experience in knowing how to grow grow things. faster than normal. It wasn't too fast with the, the plants would elongate and lose their shape. He just uh, he would use um, supermarket styrofoam bins. They seem to hold some heat, warmth. Um, he would plant his seedlings in there when they were about a one or two years old and uh, that stimulated their, their, their growth more because he said to me that uh, it makes their roots spread out and when their roots start to spread out and they can find more ground it makes them grow faster 
once again I hate disturbing them but uh, disturbing doing it like late late winter just before spring They'll probably do less damage to the roots because the roots haven't started growing yet and uh, from now I'm probably just going to give it a, a after a couple of weeks I'll give it a very light water Check that out. Nice. Happy about that. Mammillaria grusoni, one of the biggest growing of the Mammillarias. Recommend this one for your collection. And the flowers are, are, pre are big for a Mammillaria. You're looking at you know, almost an inch. Next is Mammillaria mystex, uh, Magna Mama, I mean. It's got these super long spines. And it comes from pretty low elevations. So it puts up with the heat well. Been dying to repot this one. It's still in the nursery pot. It's got a good reach system. We don't have to disturb it. It's not really root bound, so I'll just move move that, break the soil up a tiny bit, give it a new course. Those roots. I was just looking at my uh, shelves there and. Uh, it's easy to run out of space, I tell you. Has anybody else had that problem? Especially if you buy uh, Fero cacti. They take up some space. A lot of space, actually. So I got some uh, manure. It's dried up chicken manure. It's the best thing to give your plants some fertilizer and it doesn't burn the roots and it's slow slow releasing. So it's ideal. Some zeal out here. A little bit more zeal out here. Like that. Being a mammy, just a mammy wouldn't mind a little bit of lime. I like that bit of lime. Vermiculite. Tell you what, cacti love growing in vermiculite. I have a uh, ferrocactus cetaspinus growing in vermiculite uh, and potting mix, and it's been growing super well in it. bit of the chicken manure then it goes this is a typical mammillaria that will uh, offset a lot on big colonies
Ideally, if you have cacti that put out quite reasonable amounts of growth, you should repot them every two years. Ideally, once they get up to those huge sizes, well, not much you can do about that. You start to have to think of a new way of repotting your cacti without hurting yourself. But when they're smaller like this, repotting them every two years right here. I'm kind of progressing quite slowly. That's fine. This is the goal today, is to get everything repotted that needs it. Well, it looks good. Fits in the spot nicely. Here it is. Look at those nice spines. Such a hardy cacti. Very hardy, very easy to grow. Next up is Gymnocalaceum seglioni. Let's look at it. This one, uh, this one is almost taken up the whole pot. So it's a. Uh, I tell you what. If you want a cacti that grows really fast and get get up to big sizes, then I reckon I recommend Gymnocalicium seglioni. It puts out a lot of growth each year. The flowers are beautiful, and they can get up to you know thirty or forty centimeters in diameter. And what would look good with that is, of course, got to have the square pot. I bought this one in Malaika, so this is imported. It's an imported pot. It's just neat. You don't get too many square terracotta pots. This one's like ideal. This would be my third, my third Saglioni. I'm not thinking ahead, am I? Because they're going to get big. Where am I going to put them? Where? Give it some food because it's quite the grower. Oh, ouch. Let's just see how much it how much of a root system it has. Oh yeah. Looks pretty good. Hmm. Let's fill out that pot with nice root system. I don't need to disturb it too much because it's still um, very uh, I mean I only repotted this last year so I don't need to break up the roots too much should last it for the next two years before it'll help grow this one. Hopefully, hopefully my Seglionis are gonna give me some flowers this year. 
hoping. You're probably wondering why I'm not working with gloves. I just can't get used to gloves. So I have no touch, no sense of touch through gloves. I gotta feel. I must feel. And from experience, I won't get pricked. So I know what they have, these weapons. I think it looks neat in this pot. Very neat. I'm not going to add lime because Jim knows a don't need lime in the soil at all. Don't mind me buzzing around here. Some river sand dressing. I like the look of river sand. As we enter spring, we're going to start getting more humidity, we'll start getting humid, and these things will. Into growth. Anyway, this is it repotted. Suits the pot, right? Looks great. It's gonna grow really well. Hopefully, you're gonna get some flowers. I can do some pollination. Stay tuned for more. Next up, we got Labivia arachnacantha that has beautiful, bright yellow flowers. This is one of my favorites. It is absolutely gram jam-packed in this pot. It needs a repot so it can flower better. And the pot's going to go in. It is this one. Not very expensive for one of these, it was dollar fifty, two bucks. Uh, some of you probably love this natural natural color terracotta. The reason why I chose it is it's it breathes more than if it's glazed or if it's got anything like that on it. I just want the natural terracotta. And there's another reason for that is um when you water natural fire glazed or baked terracotta, when you water it and you get hot weather, this stays really cool. Is, that's why when you the, the first Westerners went to Arab countries, um, they used to make their vases out of terracotta but they wouldn't paint it and they wouldn't glaze it or anything and they used to fill them with water and the Europeans always thought well look at that thing it's leaking you know slowly but surely there's like a little bit of a puddle underneath their big vases that they kept outside and it didn't make sense to them they thought well, why is it not glazed you know it's slowly leaking out what a waste but when they were asked Oh, would you like a drink? And they dipped their cup into there. It was super cold. Super cold. Root system. Root systems like to stay cool. So use terracotta. And they may keep cool during the hot parts of the summer. Root, syst root systems don't like to get too hot. 
Okay, they like to, the roots like to find their way into the coolest areas of the ground the best that they can. The top part of, of a cactus is of course designed by nature to put up with harsh conditions, but a root system is sensitive. And we know that there are other advantages the way that they can lose their root system and grow a new one, we know that. But we're talking about getting them into growth here, keeping them growing. So you want to use terracotta. Looks great in there. Nice. Give it a bit of top dressing. Um, this time, I'm going to go for a uh, crushed quartz. Perfect. Put the label back in. And later, like I said, I'm going to write down when I repotted it. Oh. I like a top dressing, but I like that to look natural, so. More well, like absolutely like one shade of color that I like a colorful top dressing. Something that looks more natural. Let's have a look. The baby uh, arachnacantha. It's all ready for the growing season. Very nice. Stay tuned. And again, here's the next terracotta pot. Next, we're going to be repotting. You know what, I may be saying the wrong name, I'm going to put it on the screen, I haven't had enough practice saying this name, but uh, I know it's uh, uh, where it comes from, Baja, California, a lot of the offshore islands, uh, what makes it popular is its dark body in contrast to these beautiful golden golden yellow spines. It's easy to cultivate. Uh, I've, I find that it's cold hardy and uh, not only are the flowers beautiful but it's a nice small ferrocactus so it's good for a small collection. It'll grow about maybe 40 or 50 centimeters high by 20 to 30 which is a uh, a size that you can manage even in a small collection. Just going to cut some of this netting for the bottom so the substrate doesn't pour out. And would it like lime? Going to give it a little, little bit. Little tiny bit. I'm talking about a pinch because that stuff, it's like I like to experiment with my soils. I like to see what makes them happy, even if it says oh, it doesn't like lime. I'm going to put a bit in and see how it goes. And if it works, and if it grows much better, I know that it likes it. It's a good uh, buffer. Because remember, fertilizers are quite salty. They tend to make it acidy, and the um, lime will keep it more on the neutral side. It will balance that pH. Let's have a look at this root system. I bought this from the nursery that I visited a few weeks back, so if you want to see that, have a, have a watch, because it's pretty amazing. Amazing nursery. you got to watch it. It's on my YouTube. Oh yeah, they got a good uh, mix here. I like it. 
nice healthy plant. I'm gonna spend its days in here now. this up and put it in and get a bit more this is quite a slow video so why not just uh, hit the pores get yourself a nice coffee come back watch a little bit more Bury the neck. Just got to make sure you get that neck in there. It's flopping around a little bit, but uh, it'll it'll be fine. It's got a good root system, that's for sure. I'm happy about that. I'm gonna give it this uh, crushed quartz. It'll help it from. <clears throat> it'll help it to uh, not fall over. When you put uh, crushed gravel or something on the top, it also not only keeps the neck of your cactus dry, it also holds it up too. I'm a nut, I'm a nut for stones. This beautiful blue stone here. Can't remember its name right now. They were cheap. They had a store and they had these polished and they was they sell them in bags for five bucks. They make nice decorations. Anyway, what do you think? Nice? Yeah. It's beautiful. Nice. Stay tuned for the next repotting. This one is this Mammillaria albilinata. I've never repotted it yet. I've had it for, I don't know, going on three years. It's time to have a look. It's pretty solid in this pot. i got to get it out. Here's my neat tool. Look, so I can those roots from the edge. Nice cold hardy mammy. I love this one. I don't know what it's growing in. I'm gonna find out soon. I'll keep my eye close on it. In case it didn't like what it was growing in, but it does. So I know it's pretty well drained. Oh yeah. Got a good, good root system. Mm. Just wanted to take it out just to have a look, see how its health is. And it's time to do a repot for it. It's been a long time coming. Found one. It's a terracotta pot. <laughs> so this one I'm gonna put just 
a little and put these uh, pumice stones on the bottom. Give it a little bit of extra drainage. This is one of those really white growing mammal areas, so I know it likes a little lime, a little lime in its substrate. Which I'm gonna do for it. Not too much. And some slow release. Okay, here you go. Perfect. Very nice. Take a little bit out. Looks good in this pot. It's going to be happy. It's going to grow well. During the winter, this one took a nosedive off the shelf. I was throwing it on my shelf, and then uh, we had some heavy winds, and it dropped off the shelf because it was a little top heavy in its tiny pot. When I came home I saw it rolling around on the balcony and I thought, oh, why didn't the pot break? And I figure it, when it fell off the shelf, it must have fallen head first. So that's why this pot didn't break. grows in where it uh, grows on those limestone cliffs and that is neat did it have a label I didn't think it had a label I've got to make one there you go oh. Albalanata Al is ready to go I hope it grows well. Very nice. Stay tuned for more. Next one is this Gymnocalician Berucci that I bought at that nursery in Japan. If you want to check that out, you can watch it. There we are. It's been growing in here pretty well. Nice root system going on there. Mm. This is a very cold hardy cacti. It can handle down to 20 Fahrenheit. Oh, yeah, 17, even lower than 17. Easily. It's got beautiful white spines contrast with that dark green body. Flowers are beautiful. Easy growing, very nice cactus. It's going to be potted up in this pot here for the next.
couple of years, depending on how fast it grows. You like my scoop? It's pretty handy. their neck you can just see the neck there and that's when I put this river sand around there the river sand is gonna look good oh well, by the way if you want to use sand use river sand and use the stuff on the beach that stuff's got salts in it and I'm your cactus. So I recommend this Gymno Coliseum very much. You can imagine now when it's like filled this pot, it's gonna look like